we ordered every single thing on the menu. Gerard the completionist, you fat lard. When are you ever gonna stop? When are you gonna drop your stupid little Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2 game, huh? Drop your Donkey Kong Country 2, which you're not gonna complete because we know you're a fat neckbeard. You're a lazy turd that sat at freaking Indie Land, aka Shovelware Land, for 10 years straight, grabbing people $600,000 of charity money, telling them that you're gonna donate to a good cause. We all know what that good cause was. It was your fat gut in the goddamn Open Mouth Foundation because whenever you got that money you freaking put it in your fast food account collecting hamburger interest you couldn't wait for that indie land to end for the night so you can head on over to subway order a foot long however there were real production costs when it comes to running this event you for flights hotels appearance supplies long of freaking breaded chicken then head on over to mr sub and order a foot long of that and then you head over to indie land you break the toilets because you're freaking dropping a foot long turd in it you idiot you have a fat Hellboy arm that you're crushing your stupid dog with while you're dwelling in your goddamn basement like a fat neck beard, okay? Your stupid cat is eating the goddamn lice out of your hair because you haven't gotten a haircut in ages. Why? Because you're the one there in the basement eating the goddamn cat food and eating the goddamn friggin' dog food thinking it's, a, thinking it's a friggin' plate of chili and friggin' beefaroni, idiot. Meanwhile, you're friggin' on your stupid little other phone ordering DoorDash notifications for all the for goddamn money you've t stolen and taken. You're waiting for DoorDash delivery to come to your door so it can vibrate your goddamn phone, which you have over your genitalia, because we you know you have stage 10,000 diabetes and you can't get a heart on if your life depended on it. So you friggin' cream your pants at the thought of that food right at your door, ready to be stuffed into your fat gullet, funnel down, you prick. Wearing your stupid little purple grimace tee. I have never seen someone as fat as Gerard the Lard. Especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life. Wearing in more pictures. Every picture I see of Gerard the Lard, he's wearing the goddamn sequential XL purple, purple grimace tee. It's pathetic. And his, his stupid fat jogger pants that he has on. This piece of trash. He uses a freaking beach towel as a, as a freaking towel to clean himself up. When he, every when he gets himself out of the goddamn stupid hot tub. He needs hot tub hot water to sanitize his fat body for all that smell and disgust he has. He took 600k and not only that, his dad is running the same damn annual golf tournament this year as well. In May 2024. 2024, everyone's golf game is going to be ruined at that goddamn charity event because Gerard the Fat Lard's gut gravitational pull is going to take every single friggin' teed off golf cart in the goddamn sky right to his gut when he thinks it's a sugary timbit. So he tries to eat the sugary timbit, makes dents in the goddamn golf ball, and then thereafter that, he's using a goddamn golf club to friggin' clean the toothpick out of his gut. Your Amazon Prime gift subs, you can... Uh... YouTube memberships and subscriptions. Damn teeth, you prick. Makes me friggin' sick. And then he has the audacity to go on frames per second, this little incel cucked virgin stream of these four incels talking to this idiot. Why does, why is it that you, whenever we see like a fat neck beard, the anti Santa, instead of a friggin' white beard, he has a black beard. Instead of giving out gifts, he's receiving gifts. Why is it that we ever see a fat, jolly old man with a big neck beard? For some reason, people respect him. So for some reason, no one's gonna think that this guy's gonna try to take $600,000 of people's money. So he's on frames per second and he's telling people and bragging at the fact that he took $1 million in charity donations. Everyone's like, wow, oh wow. Wow. Meanwhile, you don't know that all he did was order food and stuff it into his fat gut. I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not what this is at all. That's all he did. He did nothing else because that is why when he had a fast food chef, hot Rosanna, try to make him some salads, he didn't want to eat the salad. He just wanted to friggin' rub blue icing all over his friggin' cheeks and face and lick it from his hand. That's why there's a picture of Gerard and his cucked little team member trying to eat friggin' jambalaya sauce out of his goddamn hand, which is covered in sauce and friggin' chips. Meanwhile, Gerard's a fat lard that can't wait to go to the back of Taco Bell dumpster and siphon sauce out of that and then use friggin' Caesar sauce and mayonnaise as friggin' sunscreen. And then he's sitting there at the G4, remember the G4 with Frosk? 
with her friggin', friggin' stupid woke libtard rant that she went on or whatever. We ordered every single thing on the menu. It is. Then Gerard's like, yeah, I did not know it was going in this direction. And then the camera pans to friggin' Gerard and he's like leaned in looking all interested. Meanwhile, in his mind, all he's thinking about is the next cheeseburger that he's gonna friggin' stuff his fat face with because McDonald's, poor little Timmy, can't get his goddamn Happy Meal anymore because Gerard has $600,000 of Happy Meal coupons. He just can't wait to get that purple Grimace tea toy out of the goddamn bag. So he took $600,000 of money and converted it into $600,000 of fast food deliveries. We all know what happened there because Mustafa and Carl Jobs looked at the goddamn charity records. They saw a big fat zero on the part where Gerard- For charity, we've raised over almost, almost a million dollars in the last uh, last seven years. They're supposed to donate money, but they did see $20,000 in expenses. What are those other expenses? It's a bunch of food. It's a bunch of Taco Bell. It's a chili cheese burritos, Fry Supremes, Mr. Sub, Subway, Quiznos, Firehouse Subs, McDonald's. You got Burger King. You got Wendy's. And you got goddamn Timbits. Makes me friggin' sick. So then Gerard now comes online. He wants to regain your trust. Ooh, I'm gonna regain your trust by uploading garbage uploads about friggin' Super Mario and the top 10 Switch games and Sonic, Assassin's Creed. We know why he uploaded Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia, because he's a friggin' neckbeard thief. He's like Blackbeard Pirate going around, grifting, taking everyone's friggin' money into his own fat pocket. Meanwhile, the guy's laying in his bed like a sorry carcass that he is. You have to- Chats, all that goes to the charity as well. And hey, if you want to get a t-shirt, all of the proceeds from the shirt also go to charity. So thank you all very much. And this is the first year in person. Wedge him out with a friggin' canoe paddle. Get your sorry behind up, Gerard. Take your fat self up to the bank and donate $600,000 to the charity of your choice, you stupid prick. I'm sick of you hoarding money all the time and your little thumbnails that you're uploading, I see that you don't put your little dirt, disgusting little neck beard in it. Yeah, because we all can see that half-eaten chicken bone on one side and that half-eaten chicken McNugget on the other side and the bottom of your goddamn neck beard dabbed in sweet and sour sauce and barbecue sauce, idiot. Your even hot chef Rosanna wanted to friggin' feed you salad. Even she came out. Rosanna, remember Rosanna's friggin' tweets saying, yeah, Gerard made it very uncomfortable. Yeah, who wouldn't be uncomfortable with a 5,000 pound fat elephant in the goddamn room? The guy can't even get through doorways properly. He's breaking toilets at Indyland. All right, sequential XL close up the yin yang. The guy even still owns a Super Beer Brothers friggin' uh, brand. So every time you wanna buy your stupid little sequential XL diapers, like Gerard does, cause he- Here's the boofy. Here you go. How you doing? You okay? He can't sit on a toilet anymore. He breaks the porcelain. So he has to wear a diaper. So when you're trying to order that sequential XL diaper off of Super Beer Bros merch, it's going straight into friggin' Gerard's fat mouth. Because all he did all day for 10 years, for 10 years, he sat there like a dirty, disgusting neckbeard at Indyland with his stupid little popcorn chicken mic, purple shirt, sitting there with his hot breath, telling people to just all for a good cause, guys. Just donate for a good cause. Get your Twitch bits, AKA bacon bits, because all this guy thinks about is food. He literally said in a video, he ordered everything on the goddamn menu. Then you see him at friggin' Disneyland, friggin' sitting uncomfortably in a goddamn friggin' toy car, thinking that it was gonna take it to the bits and subs on Twitch, memberships, super chats on YouTube, all goes to the cost. Friggin' checkout at McDonald's. When he realized he wasn't gonna get food after that, you can see a sorry sack of crap face. Then he goes on every other ride, breaks every single other ride, and no other kid can enjoy the ride because this fat neckbeard thought it was a good idea to go on a friggin' uh, bungee jumping. This piece of garbage, okay? His little crybaby Twitch stream, remember that? He, he comes back streams on Twitch, and then he's crying on the internet telling people, oh, this is not for farming for sympathy points. I'm not trying to do this. Meanwhile, he's friggin' tongue, tongue kissing his dog. Meanwhile, trying to friggin' eat. I have decided to let the Super Beard Brothers take the channel and run with it. Eat it. He's got that going on. Deletes information from his open mouth friggin' website. 
Before it had the about section, about board and members, that's all gone. But guess what's still there? The big fat friggin' donate button. Because if you want to donate money, you can write to friggin' Gerard. And you know where it's going to go? Right to his fat gut so he can gain some more fat pounds, increase his friggin' stage 10,000 diabetes, can't get a heart on, friggin' the smelliest turds dropped in the porcelain bowl, sequential exo clothes, fat cheeks, fat stomach, fat legs, fat feet, and there's nothing he can do about it except cry on the internet. We ordered every single thing on the menu. 